series of tapes, Psychology versus Theology, were recorded from classes held this year with the master teacher, Dr. Malachi Zayork, also known to us as Naya Malachi Zayork L. and Avenue Rakta, our own Pharaoh. Now listen with an open mind and heart as our Grand Master inflames you with only the truth. Allow your inner light to flow again and stamp out misformation with only the facts. And now, listen to the Supreme Grand Master, Naya Malachi Zaduk L. I, uh, I, I was uh, once a student of uh, you know, the uh, semester. I never officially became part of the organization, mm -hmm. primarily because of a lot of uh, the uh, same issues that were outlined in the book, uh, Dr. Daoud versus, uh, Sheikh Daoud versus uh, oh, Mark. Uh, I actually had trouble with, you know, far. But on, on the other hand, um, I would not be standing right here were it not for, uh, you know, the, the benefit that I received right. as a result of uh, being part of the organization. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just want some clarification because I know that that uh, uh, a lot of times uh, some of the comments that are made, you know, give maybe newcomers or people first time, second time, third time, mm -hmm. the impression that, that uh, you know, HTM is against the nation of Islam. I know that that's not the case. But let's talk about, uh, let's talk about the relationship, what do you think? I mean, are there any relations between the organization? There are a lot of things that are very much uh, common between the two, you know, doctrines. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to get some, some better uh, understanding of what um, HTM uh, position is towards the nation of Islam, towards the messengers, towards the star kind of it's, 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 It would be really easy for me or anyone else to walk away you know, thinking that the nation of Islam you know, are bad guys. I would like to make a little like that. You made certain predictions about what to expect in the future in the nation of his organization. One of the main things he said is that there won't be any successful after me. Right from the nation of Islam. You may not feel clear. You said because I met with God and and I'm God's message and God's promise, I mean. Right. And therefore you cannot have a successor after a person who meets God. Only God can come again. Right. And then he went out to explain what he meant by that. To keep people from being picked up. He said, what I mean by that is after me, a person is going to come and he is going to do things, for instance, he will produce pamphlets by the hundreds. Like when we fall out the sky like rain. Mm -hmm. He will introduce you to a new language and a new name. He said he will not be of the nation of Islam. Right? He'll be he'll call himself an angel incarnate. Mm -hmm. He said he'll come out of the east of the west and be raised up among you. He is his own prophet. He'll produce a new book, a book that talks from here into the hereafter. And the book of land, it will be initiated by the land. You know him by the sun. Alright, so what happens is on the life of Muhammad. Meets an untimely death, you know, right? And meanwhile, an organization is in process. And on several occasions, he literally says, the, the man is already here, but y'all don't know him. The organization already exists. He made a, a literal statement that everything will change as of 1970. He, he said that when talking to uh, Louis Lomax in an interview for the state. And so uh, the mom, he said, Louis Lomax says to him, so the way the nation used to dress, you know, I bought on these wear white robes. He said, well, I can't imagine anybody coming to the, uh, a Christian who's pretending to be a new but I can't imagine anybody coming to America and selling any black people anything in long white robes. Meanwhile, a group of people was growing in 1930 called Ansar Allah, a Nubian Islamic people who wore long white robes and were passing on Baptist and thousands of Nubians in America were buying these families from these people white making the state made it prior to the incident, actually. And in about a couple years, it started to happen. So what, what we were confronted with was more so, why are you not seeing that the prophecy of the messenger, Allah Elijah Muhammad, has come to pass in another organization? Mm -hmm. What is the problem? Everything you say, you call him a prophet, a prophet is generally identified by someone you know who prophesied. Right? You call him a messenger, you call him a message, you call him to a certain level. Right? Allah Elijah Muhammad had a very good program until certain individuals stepped in and started, ministers started, you know, taking an opinion in it. All right. Everything was clear to us. All right. The prophecy fulfilled themselves. Yes, in comes Worthy Muhammad. Out of Zerun died in 1976 uh, or 75, or then when he died. 
stated that income working on the planet is out of the nation of Islam, not even involved in Sunni at the time, because he was poor. You know, he had that going on. Drug trafficking problem. You know, some little things, scandals, with which anybody can be guilty of. I'm not trying to say that, I'm just saying. But he was not an active member of the nation of Islam. He comes walking in, and his family members, Override the fact that Farrakhan and all of us knew he thought he would be the rightful successor, even though the Honorable Adam Muhammad said on countless times, there, there is no successor after me. Only God Himself can come after me in person. And the problem is, defining God Himself according to their teachings, not according to Christian teachings, not according to Muslim teachings of the world, but if He said, we gotta look at what He meant by God Himself. He meant that another man is gonna come like a rod, a man. And this man is going to be the wise person on earth at the time. He'll be the wise man. He'll be the supreme being. He, but remember, this is not really stated that everybody is God. And all of y'all are God. And that amongst the gods, there's going to be one that is a teacher for a supreme being. And that's going to be supreme and being. Christian often is say with supreme being up with supernatural being. And supernatural being or supernatural and supreme being are not the same thing when you start looking at words. So our problem came with why are we having such a hard time seeing that the prophecies of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was already fulfilled and that the nation of Islam, as he said, fell away. It fell apart even with Farrakhan and even with the word of Muhammad, it had died. And then they tried to resurrect it and it's a part of the prophecy too. He used Thessalonians as a quote of the nation of Islam falling away and coming back. You know what I'm saying? And then this new organization, he said, is going to be appealing to everybody. He even talked about Islam. He said, you can, you can unite everybody without the race here. He started changing the philosophy on race from their last of the speeches. He to be back then. So our problem came up with Farrakhan and we're like, why is Farrakhan pretending that this is not the organization? I mean, you know, it's, it's my brother like anybody else, but why is he holding back so many people? You know, and then I, then I understand what race pretend to mean. Great pretend to me, when you have a million man march that was really initiated by Christians, ministers, and that 90% of the people there were Christians, but you take credit for it as if it's an Islamic million man march, and if those people out there were a million black Muslims, when actually there was less than 5% of the people there were black or black Muslims, then I understand from Then I want to know, do you have another agenda? And then in the following couple weeks you say, my new agenda is politics. Then again I reflect back on what the Amr Allah Muhammad taught when he said, do not get involved in politics and drag because you ain't got a chance. That's right. You're going to lose. So I said, like, so why is he telling us now to go down the path of politics when Elijah Muhammad said, so these to me should have been signs to the people in the nation of Islam that Brother Farrakhan wants to be the leader. More than he really wants to lead people in the right direction. <coughs> and our worthy Muhammad's sole purpose was to lead them back in the hands of pale patterns, trying to turn them back over to them and their lives. Right? And that didn't work, most people didn't follow it. So the people therefore were hungry, but not hungry enough to go back and make uh, and research the prophecy so that they can see if there's a man out here today that is fulfilling the prophecy. That's all. And they won't do that. So it appears that I have to keep coming back. Let me ask you about in nineteen ninety, and for all about people that some of the people was very powerful. As an organization, people in the white was on all over it. They would start to use us in movies, like Brother for another planet. They would use us like they high Christians. They would start to pop up in movies, all the rap groups would part of our organization. You see, Queen my teeth, and they might put out flags. And we're moving. And of course, this is an economic war to get inside the black man's pocket between the movies and something he was in. This is a concern. If that's your motive. You both have it, then it becomes a concern. And it concerns so I saw it their followers the side walk a thousand dollars on the street and say stuff like, you know, y'all are this and y'all ain't no Muslims and y'all are deviant, so on, so on, so on. So I said, okay. So what's the two ways to deal with this situation? One is for me to tell our brothers when they walk up to you, stand square off like you're supposed to, and say, well, you know, so what you gonna do about it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Point of the woman, you wanna fight. You know, and I said, that's exactly what the devil would love to see. We would love to see two black organizations publishing the speech of Manhattan. Mm -hmm. So they can make a big article about that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They tear us down. So I told the uh, the men just like the nation of who had not the link of fear in their heart to go down the shade. They intimidated us, FOI and intimidated us. We had our own scores, scores, and stuff. We had our own army put together at that time to defend ourselves against the pale Arabs. What are we thinking about? 
and they took on the blood and murder. We about to tell out and how to stare at the one who assassinated by my hand came would come to our class and try to lure me in the place and assassinate me. We know that the Irish have a contract out. Or want me to kill me. Because they want to stop me because I'm stopping you from going back into the Irish slavery for the wrong. Mm-hmm. But the thing is they can't kill me because I speak out of it, I speak English, they can't like empty hammer. They can't touch me. <laughs>
and the building permits did. Mm-hmm. And we read the article, they couldn't say one thing about our racism. They couldn't say it's a black organization. They couldn't say it's anti-white. They couldn't say it's black supremacy. So they targeted what they thought was fake people up in the title says, from planet Riz to Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> they leave the said we from the 19th galaxy, planet Riz, they leave it. They go back around and keep that goes to make you say, what? <laughs> you know? We go to Revelation 21 and start reading and find out that it says that there's a city coming out of heaven. <laughs> and that Jesus informed that city. Now, if I need to go up there and read it, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Real clear, in the book of Revelation, the baby means even in their four translations, that describes a city coming out of heaven and Jesus is on it and is coming to get a certain amount of people. Now, because of the hell of our situation, these people are confronted with a reality that is an actual meteorite, also mentioned in here. In Revelation again, 9, speaks about a great star falling from heaven in the earth. And they have it called Wormwood, and the folk called uh, Hellbox Wormwood. And it changes course now, if everybody knows it. But now they are scared. And they see a group of people in the heart of Georgia, you people, doing your own thing. That was obvious. Well, you know what a cult is? A cult is a group of people that have one leader, and whatever he says or she says, everybody does. He said, you mean like Jimmy Swagger or all of them that were considered normal Christians until they went out and did some outlandish activity in America, and now they're back to being normal Christians. But you talk to us, you say, no, like Jim Jones. I say, knock, 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 hello, is anybody in there? The lights are on, Jim Jones was not black, he was white. And you say, and like David, correct, knock, 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 hello, is anybody home? David correct was not black, he was white. Now we got another group out in California, they call the, knock, 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 hello. Reverend 
John Henry Smith. That's the name. Got four bars to it. If I want to make you sound like you got a lot of different names, I say, you are Bob. Bob it. Right, brother. Bob what? Bob. I don't need Bob it, but Bob is Bob. 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 Next time I say, yo, Robert Smith Jr. Next time I say, yo, Robert John Smith Jr. Next time I say, Reverend John, and I can keep it, what's the ad of Reverend? I can bury the names again. Look at the face. Esau Bella Muhammad. Esau had no man. He's the same name, different, different, it is. Move names out of words. He's not going to have a problem with Take my middle name, you know, it will walk out the whole way. Then I go to Esau Muhammad. If you add up Hattie, which means the guy is in, and you add your mom, which means Reverend Horn, it starts to look like the name is changing. Mm-hmm. That's how I was trying to super do it. Oh, it changes the name. It's so sad that all months of the new Arabic, if you look at my name, realize I'm not changing my name. I'm doing the same thing people do when they drop titles. I said, I'm not your mom because I'm no longer leading Muslim, so it's not fair for me to call myself your mom. For a minute, if I come down south here and come and move into the land of my name, see some of it, I'm going to be stereotyped as a Right? Right, or Arab, right? Or Muslim, right? And that's terrible to make that. So I'm not going in there like that. I'll use my family name on my mother's side, not my family name on my father's side, which is obviously my brother and legal because I have a passport now in the name. So they acknowledge the name Melchizedek D. York. The passport issued from the government. So I can do that. I can use my mother's name or I can use my father's uh, name. If I'm out of Islam and I'm into right knowledge, I don't want to have an Islamic name because people just see a crescent on how I have to say, for your own Muslim. Because the crescent is synonymous now with Muslim and not moon worship like it should be. So we have that. That's the name situation here. The dates are wrong. The fact that the company said, maybe they did a big uh, um, monolith, or let's call it, you know, a pylon, but with a closing gate. Can you get the gate out there? No. Get <laughs> yeah, to ask yourself, why are they doing that? And why are the Nubians in Macon who work in this paper, who drive by here not saying what? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all don't say I'm here with Christian church. White people, you don't go to the inside of their business. Why, why is this here? I'll tell you why this is here. And if you drive to the military right now, as you're approaching the military, there's a new church that started out as a, a, a mobile home, and they within a year have built this big church out there. So we come to the military in your life, right? Mm-hmm. Not in no investigation. Don't know who Reverend is. I thought all the time I watched the village go fast. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> right off the road. See that? Coffee out there. Nobody wants to know who they are. Go to the village, you'll see a new church back there. Nobody wants to know who they are. Why? I'll tell you why. But they don't want us to have anything at all. Mm-hmm. They are starting to come to our class. Caucasian, okay, last week, two and three, four, three, and right. they want this church. Right. <laughs> they got Judaism, Christianity, Satanism, they got all kinds of crap. They got UA, third world, they got all kinds of crap. This is something new that they say has started within the last four years, and we got it. It's our stuff. We're out there doing tournaments. They have nothing to do with tournaments in history other than going over there and misinterpreting how they got built. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you, we just say something. I'm telling you what stupid is. Stupid is. How did the Egyptians move these massive rocks? Go to Florida to Coral Castle. A white man sits off at Crown Castle, built a whole stone castle in, in what he called a tribute to his sweet 16, who come and come to another star. Now, maybe we did a, a universe that left a stone castle. The man's name is Edward Sweet Allen, who worked with Tesla, by the way. And you know Tesla. Right? This man moved massive stones, and they would stay out there and take one. They would hide and look it. <laughs> and he would know when they come. And he would just stop working. They got all this stuff. They might be far, right? He would stop working. And then he would tell them, I see y'all. I'm not even sneaking around. They got here sneaking. We take them out there, right? Well, I know it's something. The book says, come on in. You know what? You don't want to go out there just before you stay on that road. And it's not, I want you to fuck. You know, I can't make that we did it. I see all the people can be 
up after all of this.
Well, where are they going to have their annual gathering when everybody can come out and walk through their compound? And family can visit. Most people who live there, their mothers and fathers live there with them. It is not a child saying, well, everybody's brothers and sisters here. Mothers and fathers convert. Read the book of Malachi. It tells you what I'm here to do. I'm here to turn the hearts of fathers to their children. Something you could not do. And it's happening. Most of the people here, parents are now starting to read. Some of you people here, your mother and father start to read the book now. And that's what they say, hold on, don't do that. Because you put it in the air. It will come around. You go right with the right example. Don't go just hyper on your safety. They see that you ain't drinking and drugging and hanging out like a stupid and trying to take care of your wife and your kids and talking about going to school and getting a special education. And which is what we see. The mother and father see a difference. But we yourself, and they know that. They see that we have the power to stop gaming. They see, I got young boys in China, they shoot up and go in the pants. All these young boys here will get popped standing around here. You know, they're too old to get popped around here. All these young boys here, they think about it, they ask them, I'll see you on top of my room. Boys like drugs. And now they stand up there and start to blow it, but you're to make a man mock it. So they can finish the main thing, so we can beat them about improving our way of life. So we can get our piece of the box. The problem is, you know, there's so many other people in the country, and if everybody takes a slice of the pie, then they have, you know, people up who built the country. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Koreans in here, the Chinese in here, mm-hmm. the everybody in the country, everybody who's a slice of the pie. Mm-hmm. Now it's coming around, they're going to get out of the pie. They don't want to buy it. So when you're going to sit here outside, you're going to realize it. You're going to say, this is bad for the Jews. Yeah. And when I tell you, I'm no longer, I don't trust your opinion no more, especially when it comes to me. Because you have double standards. You understand? I saw with my own eyes what you did to Rodney King. Mm-hmm. Anybody had to tell me about Rodney King? I saw it. And those men are not in jail for attempt murder? Just because they belong to the organization you established that I paid for by my tax? Mm-hmm. I saw double standards in OJ case. How can a man be found not guilty but liable? Yeah. For a God that he's not guilty. Sunday represents us. Wrong. 